Hey guys, Corey here bringing in Unbeaten Warbase, guys. And in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly where you can find the link to copy this base immediately. This bad boy, just in this war alone, defended five times, was never tripled and by five different attack strategies as well so i got ground attacks to show you i got air attacks to show you a little bit of everything falling short on this base and because of some of the brilliant design features first of all look at the spacing of these compartments around these multi-target infernos that's going to affect pathing to the multis it's going to affect queen pathing you're going to be seeing that theme a lot a little bit later on in this attack first we got the strongest attack at town hall 11 right now for the first example the hybrid attack strategies obviously trying to funnel something for his queen here and he's not getting the funnel that he planned on here so let's see where he ends up dropping this queen because man that clock is ticking all right there goes the queen right there he's gonna be jumping into this base as long as he gets that jump down where's she going all right she's going over there so she is gonna go into the left and she is going to take that jump. He just wanted his king to clear all that stuff first before he got the queen down. Now that queen jumps in there, she does have some pretty good access. She's going to be able to reach that eagle artillery. She's going to be able to kill the hound loon in the CC. And guys, in my in the bases I share, uh, the people give me permission to share, I do not recommend changing the defensive CC or the traps or Teslas. If you change any one of those things, the base is not going to disbend the way it was designed to defend. That is all taken into account during testing to make the base defend the best against the most different types of attack strategies. So the Hound is finally going down and his queen does not have enough juice to make it through the enemy queen. Should have had another rage spell. Should have timed that poison maybe a little bit different. The Hound Loon slowed her down. Her ability was already burned. Didn't get the enemy queen kill. So Hogs and Miners are going to be coming in. He pops that Grand Warden ability nice and early because Eagle Artillery shots were, were landing. They were taking a ton of damage. Don't blame him for popping it there. Healing right in there as they're going into the queen. But guys, we got a bunch of Hogs in there by the queen. And the queen... Hogs do not kill the queen. Finally, the miners come in and take her out, but a little bit late, man. She ate bacon for breakfast already by the time those miners even got there because that he's only got a few hog riders left in this base. He does have one more heal spell, but because that queen died early, she didn't cut in the rest of this pathing over here. So his troops, look how bad they spread out in there, you guys. Oh my god, they spread out so much. <laughs> <laughs> look at that heal i mean honestly it didn't matter at that point there's way too many defenses and they were way too spread out to take out the rest of this base but that heal that was great man the miners backtracked after some skellies uh some miners finally did go in and get a little bit of value out of that heal but nowhere close to getting the triple on this one it's going to be a 54 percent fail all right guys our next example of defense here is going to come from an air attack this time the attacker is going to be trying electron lava loon attack strategy let's see what he's got here all right all right sending that stone slammer in there one thing you neglected to do is to clear the trash buildings behind that means that e-dragon instead of going deeper into the base might turn around on those trash buildings and not get as much value as what he wants he does get the loons cloned out in front so they're tanking for that e-dragon e-dragon does go in a little bit deeper but not much man he just goes after the king he's gonna chain off on a couple defenses but he's not getting the core value he was hoping for right there now we did only use one clone spell so it is possible to come back on an attack where where you've only used one clone spell and maybe you didn't get as much value out of the electron as you were looking for you know obviously it would have been nice to take out some of this core like maybe that eagle artillery uh something like that but he's got enough spells in the back end where if your lalo is good enough theoretically you can save this attack at this point he's got three loons tw three hounds 24 loons rage four haste and a free spell let's see what he does with him right here he's using that queen sui on the left hand side take out one of those air defenses take out some of those outer structures really trying to narrow the path for his loons now from here guys let's look at his loon pathing man i'd be starting on the side with two air defenses left sure enough that is the side he's going to start from but he's his pathing it's going to kind of widen out over here all right you're going to lose some loons over onto these defenses uh probably before your whole core shot really gets into the core right there let's see not too shabby he's got that multi-target inferno froze but the loons are caught in their tornado trap whether or not that section is frozen doesn't really matter he uses that grand warden ability in conjunction with that rage send those loons into the core of the base invincible <clears throat> that being said he probably could have saved it for an area with a little bit 
a little bit more damage coming in on those loons for a little little better value and look at this man since he didn't have that great of pathing over here his loons instead of continuing through the core of the base to the high value defenses like expo sweeper multi-target inferno they're lost off to the side on the teslas because that guys this attack really doesn't have any hope at this point he's out of spells out of loons and out of luck all right, guys, our next contestant is going to be coming in with a P.E.K.K.A. Smash attack strategy. Actually, pretty dang strong at Town Hall 11. Uh, I know I wasn't seeing it that much, but I've seen a lot of opposing clans using it. Three-starring a ton of bases with it. Uh, as far as from members of my clan, I'd see P.E.K.K.A. Bobat a little bit more. But P.E.K.K.A. Smash, there's no denying it is very strong at Town Hall 11. And this attack here is still going to fall well short. He's got a queen charge starting over on that side. He obviously wants his queen to walk to the left. But this wizard tower is not double spaced back from the cannon. So there's always a danger she might try to wrap back around for that wizard tower. Let's see where she goes after this king, man. I don't know. She's pretty far in there. She's probably going to continue walking over there towards the right. He's already gotten a wall break over there on the cannon section. So that's definitely where he wants her to go. He's really trying to save. Oh, dude, what did I tell you? What did I tell you about that wizard tower? Oh, I swear to God, I did not know that was going to happen. I have not watched this attack all the way through yet. <laughs> oh, man. You start your queen in a position like that, you leave yourself open to a lot of risk. She's going to end up walking the right way. And honestly, that's that's the whole reason you designed this compartment that way, to make it an unsure place to start a queen charge. It really looked like she was going to walk over there to the left, man. But she's like, nah, I think I'm closer to that wizard tower. Definitely going for that wizard tower. <laughs> oh, man. That's why when I'm starting a queen charge, I'm looking for areas where the d d defenses are double spaced. Because when you have that extra space, there's a little less chance they're going to wrap around the corner after that next defense. He's trying to get a little extra value out of the stone slammer, which is a great idea on P.E.K.K.A. smash attacks. But unfortunately, his queen's happily walking around the outside of the base while all his P.E.K.K.A.s and bowlers in the core died because they didn't have any healers. All right. He's going to get pretty close, man. That queen's going to do some good things on the backside. The loons and stone slammer actually took out everything in the base she couldn't reach from the outside but guys there's 30 percent of this base left all right ability or not right now she's stuck in a hound she's not going to get 30 percent of the base in three minutes with no spell supports with no rages to speed her up or anything like that so i mean he's praying at this point but it's not gonna be enough friends this attack right here is going to end up in an 87 percent two star fail all right, guys, our next contestant is going to be coming in with Queen Charge Lava Loon. Kind of a halfway attack between ground and air. Of course, your Queen Charge is ground, but your backside is all air. So good mix right here. And obviously, as you probably already know, very strong attack strategy in the hands of the right people. And look at this. Look at this. Where do you think this Queen's going to go next? All right, look at the double space, the extra space in these compartments. That means this archer tower is a tile further back from this multi than what it would normally be in this style of compartment. And because of that, she's going to end up being closer to this builder hut than she is to that multi-target inferno. So a bit of brilliant design there by Nikolai on these compartments, man. First of all, it's going to it's gonna keep that stone slammer from getting both sections of wall open with just one drop. It's only going to be dropping that first layer of wall, not both of them. But second of all, it's really going to mess up that pathing. It's going to make it even harder to path to the multi, whether that's queen charge pathing, whether it's loon pathing, whether it's hog pathing, whatever the pathing is. When you put more space between something and the rest of everything else, it's going to become more and more difficult to path to that section. So that first jump, totally useless. He's going to try and save it with this next jump spell. Let's see, man. Oh, those minions, they're not going to get it down in time. Even if they, if they did, she probably takes that second jump. But guys, this was not the place he was planning on entering. Right here, he's hoping, man. He's hoping she goes in. But this multi-target Inferno is so far away from where she's standing. This cannon is obviously far closer. She's going to be going for that next. And here we go. Boom. Two jumps. No bueno, man. He was trying to jump into here and then jump all the way into here where he'd have a ton of access. Granted, his queen would have died in there eventually. He only had, you know, a couple rage, maybe two, three rage spells. Uh, and when you're facing all four expos with the enemy queen and the CC, you're not gonna you're not gonna survive that section of the base. But he would have got enough value to, you know, I don't know, maybe be successful with the lava loon. Hard to say, man, because that pathing really difficult to get into that multi-target inferno. Because of that he fell well, well, well short on this attack. And, you know, GG to the attacker for not rage quitting. I do see that once in a while, man, and it absolutely bugs me every single time I see it. He's trying to save it, man. Once in a while, you can save a queen charge lava loon just by a 
a brilliant Lalo on the back end, going really hound heavy towards the queen. And sometimes those raged up pups can manage to get her killed if you can't get her down with the Lalo. But this time, guys, it's going to be way too much damage. Look at those four expos in there with the queen, man. That is a death zone. I don't care what kind of hero or troop you got. They're not going to survive that section of the base. Enemy attacker is going to end up with a 78% two-star fail on this one. Guys, our next example is going to be another ground attack. Now, you already saw he had a Hound and a Loon in the CC. And some of you might be thinking, because we did this a lot at Town Hall 10, take advantage of that Hound Loon CC by doing a mass Miner attack. This is a pretty wide, pretty spread out base. Pretty difficult to narrow into a good path for the Miners. But hey, he's got 40 of them plus 5 heals, so let's see how it goes. You already know if you've been you know clashing for any amount of time you know you can ignore that hound with the miners all you got to do is make sure that you get the poison on the loon as long as you poison the loon and the hound keeps away from the queen and sticks with the miners that hound doesn't do hardly any damage certainly not enough to worry about your troops can just ignore that hound through the entire raid that's exactly what the attacker is going to try and do here he did some good funneling there man that queen got a ton of value on the right his king got a ton of value on the left he's got a great path for the first section of this base with the miners the problem he's got a good poison down on that loon too very nicely done miners are getting healed back up after taking a loon drop now the problem becomes how wide this base gets after that first section man those miners that are in such a tight group right now are going to be spreading out into all directions as they spread out they're thinning out they're taking damage from all four of those expos right now Oh my god, that's a ton of damage. Grand Warden goes down. That didn't help, but look how much they're spreading out, man. They've completely left alone this bottom section of the base. And as they spread out and they thin out, they're going to start moving slower and slower. Uh, where your heals are going to be less effective because all your miners aren't necessarily sticking together. And then look at this, man. They're going to bust through this right side of the base. And they're just going to totally leave this side alone. But that means they're going to get stuck on trash buildings out here before they can come in and take out the rest of the core defenses in the base. So I don't care if you have two heals left at this point. This is still not a triple, all right? The miners are just way too spread out. Man, they're eating giant bombs out there near the trash in between those in between those Teslas. That's a beautiful place to be putting giant bombs between those Teslas. He's got a few loons. They're not going to help. Look at that hound, though, doing nothing, man. Those miners are just on trash buildings. He finally gets a group to go in towards the defenses. So he places that last heal spell. That was a beautiful placement right there. Um, but already, they spread out so much on this backside that none of those healers... None of those miners are left inside that heal. The multi-target Inferno is going to be way too much. And guys, that is going to be another fail. Friends, the place where you're going to find the link to copy this base is going to be at the very bottom of the description of this video. Scroll down to the bottom. Last thing in there is a link to copy this base immediately. Also, in the middle of your screen, there's a button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, click that button. If you're already a subscriber, then check out my War Bases playlist. It's also on the screen right now. That's got so many amazing bases from Town Hall 10 all the way through Town Hall 13. Check it out. Friends, I'll see you in the next video.